My name is Mike O'Brien, and I'm uh, Vice President of Product and Corporate Planning at Hyundai. And we're standing in front of a cutaway of the all-new Genesis. The uh, code name for it is DH. It uh, replaces the old Genesis that launched in 2009 model year. The cutaway shows a lot of interesting technology for the product. Uh, first, the rear, well, first I should say that the platform is all new. It's a completely new, dedicated platform for this product. Uh, it's made for ultimately for the maximum rigidity and maximum rigidity gives you uh, good NVH characteristics, it gives you good safety performance and uh, maximum rigidity also allows you to get uh, really good handling and steering dynamics so it makes it a good driving car. The rear uh, features all new suspension so this multi-link suspension is designed to improve lateral grip and it's done so by just really beefing up the components that uh, add to stiffness so the links and the, uh, and the wheel hubs have been beefed up to add to stiffness and that way lateral grip is increased. Uh, as you move up the car, you can see the attention to uh, NVH. So there's a NVH package, just the sound insulation package for this car is 84 pounds. Uh, the NVH characteristics, noise, vibration, and harshness are outstanding. Whether you're in the rear seat and you, have, you, you enjoy the lack of noise coming from the tires and suspension in the rear, or you move towards the front and you have complete isolation from the engine sound and, uh, and transmission and exhaust sounds, uh, the NVH of the car is truly outstanding. As you move further up, you can see the all-wheel drive system. So the all-wheel drive transfer case you can see is attached here to the rear of the transmission housing. Uh, the transmissions are award-winning uh, eight-speed Shiftronic. Uh, now has standard paddle shifters. Uh, Magna helped us develop this, uh, this transfer case. Has a high-speed clutch coupling capability. It's the only all-wheel drive system in the premium market and luxury market that offers multi-mode driving. So you don't have to just buy a car that's dedicated to inclement weather performance or to driving dynamics like one competitor or another. In this case, you can select. You can either picture uh, a case where you need to have improved inclement weather performance and select it, or if you want to have improved performance in terms of driving, you can select that mode. Uh, all of the electronics and control systems were all developed by our parent company in Korea. Uh, as you move forward, you can see uh, our award-winning uh, Tau V8 engine. Uh, and you can also see, actually you can't see so well, you see parts of it, but a lot of work has been done in terms of rigidity here in the front. Uh, you can see part of a, of a cowl bulkhead that adds strength and, and, and NVH performance in this area. Uh, the entire inner fender structure used to be 22 individual steel parts. Now it's one high-pressure die-cast aluminum part. And it uh, uses use structural adhesives, high-strength structural adhesives from the aerospace industry to bond that to the steel structure. So it gives outstanding rigidity, gives better crash performance. It lowers the weight by over 20, I'm sorry, by about 15 pounds. Uh, so it gives better weight performance. And uh, most importantly, uh, it protects the driver. Uh, moving to the front, you can see some of the work that was done at Nuremberg Ring in Germany. So one of the, uh, along with a lot of high-speed evaluation and development that went on at Nuremberg Ring, we also developed the brake cooling. Uh, you need a very high-speed track to do so. So you can see these vents here. So these vents direct air from the front bumper openings into the brake rotor area and caliper area to maximize cooling effectiveness. And this, this was a direct result of our work at Nuremberg Ring in, Jum in Germany. The car features a uh, lane keep, uh, auto brake, so we have a full autonomous braking system with this car. Uh, it works with cameras and with radar. So the cameras you can see are mounted in the windshield area just ahead of the uh, outside rearview mirror, or the uh, inside rearview mirror, I'm sorry. And then the radar unit is mounted here in the grill. You can see this clear plastic area where the radar unit is mounted. So a combination of cameras as well as radar uh, both keep the vehicle in the lane in case there's some distraction or driver fatigue. It also is used for the auto brake function to detect vehicles ahead of you and brake appropriately.